one of the most recognizable franchises for Sony is, of course, God of War, which stars Kratos. And it's almost crazy to me that this November will be two years since the release of God of War Ragnarok. Now, of course, there was free DLC that was released that does tease what could be coming next, although we don't really know what exactly we can expect. For years, there's been rumors that God of War Egypt was going to be happening. We know that there was concept art, we've seen a couple things, but again, what the future holds for God of War remains to be seen. Most recently, there's been multiple rumors that are saying that we are in fact going to get a full-on remake of God of War 1 in the style of the more modern games, which in my opinion is fine. But to me, I would hope that they honestly take the PS3 collection and port it over to PlayStation 5 as it is, slash PlayStation 4, just so we can have the complete saga. But if they also want to remake God of War 1, put in some new bells and whistles, you know, some new story aspects, much like the remakes of Resident Evil, I am personally okay with that. But let's get back to talking about the proper next entry for God of War. Now, what I do want to bring to the forefront that I think is important as part of this conversation that I think many people are overlooking, and that's the in-development God of War TV series that we are getting from Amazon, which they said they will not be a cheap production. And if you looked at some of what Amazon has produced, you definitely get the sense that they are going to go for that Lord of the Rings style big budget or to compare it to recent video game TV shows, Last of Us type of budget and feel where you need God of War to be epic. And the reason I wanted to talk about that is because we've seen that synergy matters. And synergy is important because it can help boost the other product. If you look at The Last of Us and then the re-releases surrounding the TV show and what's going on with the future of Last of Us, it has now surpassed its popularity when it was just a video game. And Sony can excuse the ballooning cost of producing those games for the simple reason that it will bring more eyes on the product and the IP overall. God of War seems to be one that's going to be going in that same direction. It's been a franchise that's been around for the better part of almost 20 years, and it's endured and been a highlight of Sony's staple. So why would you not want a new video game to release closer to the upcoming series? And since the series will be treading over some of the established stuff and the Norse lore, at least last we knew, then wouldn't it make sense to drop the future of God of War somewhere in close proximity. And if we look at the development time of video games and how much it's going to take to reinvent it because they're not going to reuse a bunch of assets if they're going to Egypt or wherever else, right? Maybe Mesoamerica, I don't know, whatever they pick. It's going to take some time. So with the expectation that the God of War show could be with us in about two and a half to three years, if they started work on this new game about a year ago, a four-year development cycle seems pretty on point. And again, that would give us that synergy where both come out at the same time, while in the meantime, in the in-between, we get a reboot of God of War 1. Now, some have said it could be a whole reboot slash remake of the trilogy. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Whatever happens, we'll see. But I do think that Sony's got to make some sort of statement about something, especially since the future for Sony exclusives is looking a little bleak, if I could be honest with you guys. Because, um, trust me, PlayStation is my brand. That's the one I always pick first. That's my dominant playfield console. But their output compared to other generations has been, well, subpar when compared. And I do think that they got to come forth quick if not this summer, at the latest by next summer, and give us another couple of years of what's to come. Due to leaks, we already know Spider-Man 3, we know there's a Venom game, we know there's an X-Men game, sequel to Wolverine, but you need to fill out more. They need to get back to that point where we have at least three to four exclusive Sony games a year, two of them being AAA, one that's maybe AA or single A, and then you got the rest of the stuff that's filled out. And we're not really there. It's been a little stagnant. So hopefully 
there's multiple God of War projects, and I would personally love it if the next big blowout by Sony, they reveal God of War is coming back. Here's a little teaser. We're working on it. Now wait for the TV series. Oh, and here's the remake of 1 and possibly 2 and 3. Or just, I don't know, re-release those games for PlayStation 4 and 5 so we can play them instead of having to stream them because uh, that's not viable for most people. So um, I'm excited for more God of War. I personally hope that if they go anywhere, that they go to Mesoamerica and they do like, I don't know, Aztecs. Um, you can do the Mayans if you want. You can do whatever. But I'm kind of almost past the Egypt stage. Sure, at one point it would have been my most wanted. But I kind of had my fill of Egypt with, uh, to be fair with you, Assassin's Creed. Origins did enough that I don't think I need it. But if I get it, I won't complain. 